Hi, my name is Sebastian and this video is about Maven Multimodules. I often see in various enterprise projects that Maven Multimodules are in my eyes overused for building a single deployment artifact like a WAR file. And you may indeed ask the question whether this is needed or necessary or not. And this video is about the performance uh, overhead and performance impact such a Maven module structure has in a project. Therefore, I created a um, multi-module performance test project, actually. It's a Java E7 application, which comes in three different Maven structures. The simplest one, the flat structure, is something you hopefully would expect from an enterprise project, which contains in 26 different packages and each and every package has the same structure a pojo an ejb with a local interface as you can see this is highly over engineered on purpose and the juxrs resource for it and it gets built to a war file but here with the normal java e7 structure so this is um, pretty much straightforward and the other two are actually more interesting. So I created a script for it to, to create that maiden structure. And as you can see, this results in a lot of maiden modules. So this is pretty much the worst case scenario you could do. Each and every Java class basically has its own module here. You can see hierarchical from A to Z again with API core model and URI and a web UI module, if I can find it, which contains a POMXML which builds a WAR file. And each and every other module is, in, is built as a JAR file and included here into that one. So let's see how they vary in build times. So the flat one is just a normal flat maiden structure as you saw it. This one gets built and in six seconds. The reason for these six seconds is actually the screencast, uh, screencast recording software running. Normally this should be two seconds. Oh, and you can see a build time summary here. This is actually a nice build extension. I once also wrote a blog post about that, um, which shows the, the time each and every module and each and every goal takes to run in the build. So if you have a rather complex build scenario and which takes a lot of time and you have kind of no clue which module or which uh, plugin takes, uh, takes the most, then this gives you a nice overview about which one is to blame. And yeah, like usually a long running test or something or a crazy plugin. And let's compare that to the hierarchical one. So as you may expect, this of course takes much longer as a lot of main modules have to be scanned and analyzed first in terms of the palm XMLs will then get built as well and at the end the web ui project aggregates all the jar files and builds it into that war file so this took 20 seconds which is more than three times slower than the first one actually and we can now also have a look at the resulting jar files in their size This WAR file is about 160 um, kilobyte. And we can also have a look at it, which is quite interesting. You see, you have this WAR file, which contains all the other JAR files, each and every module you created, which as you may guess is a lot of overhead as each and every JAR file has its own manifest and so on and so forth. And compared to that, Um, the other one, which is only 65 kilobyte, so not even half of it. And of course, this does not 
um, contain all the jar files it's direct it directly contains all the class files which you probably or hopefully would expect from such a such a more file yeah and this is pretty much the overhead um, of this multi-module structure so as you can see fair enough this is a pretty worst case scenario but it's a, actually a quite big deal here and the last one is even more crazy um, this one actually contains the same structure from A to Z with that modules but each module here is actually a parent module itself for API core model and UI plus that web UI um, module which then contains all the jar files again and if we build that this also takes more or less the same amount like the second one but it's also also much of an overhead and as you might as may expect expect this is also even a bigger deal to to handle all the pom files as you have even more one pom file more for each and every module so this even takes longer 21 seconds here which in my eyes is way too long for a maven build so this project is actually on github you can check it out if you want to and i would really appreciate if you have a look at it and maybe give give some feedback if you have some other ideas or other things which could be performance tests in terms of maven modules so i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching and bye